Hello family, this is Greg coming to you once again from faithsmessenger.com. You know, I got these glasses here, uh, I don't know, about a year ago. They're, they're light sensitive. I like them because I don't have to carry around sunglasses and prescription glasses. I need prescription glasses in order to uh, read things up close. These I can keep on all the time, but I noticed that I forget to clean them and things get dark and fuzzy and I'm wondering, okay, what's going on? And then I, I take off my glasses just to see that they're filthy. So when I clean them and I put them back on, the world looks bright again. Everything is clear. Everything is um, focused again. And I use that analogy to um, share with you. Sometimes we can get focused on the mortgage, focused on the kids, focused on the car payment, focused on schooling, focused on things that may or may not be going right on the job, and we forget our main focus. We as Christians are operating the largest covert operation known to man, and that is winning to loss, winning the loss, seeking and saving that which was lost. Through our empowerment through our Savior Christ Jesus that's our main function here that's our main goal that's our main objective and I want to encourage you not to get so wrapped up in living life that we forget our main goal that we forget our main focus one of the things we we all have phobias of some sort one of the biggest phobias for me is to have a co-worker or a neighbor or someone that I am in close proximity to on a daily basis die and go to a Christless eternity. And upon my death, see this person or communicate somehow with this person and have them look me in the eye and say, you know what, Greg, we work together and you never said a word. You knew where I was going and you never said anything. Or to have a family member or to have my neighbor say, you know, we talked about football. We talked about uh, a myriad of different things. We talked about cars and you never said anything about this existence, this Christ, this savior. You never said a word, yet you knew that I didn't know him. So I want to encourage you that, um, to keep in mind what our, our main objective is here. Life is very, very short. And the older you get, the more you realize just how short it is. Make the most of it. Make the most of it. Be about the Father's business. I'm not saying go to uh, and preach on every corner, but I am saying in your interactions in the market, in your interactions on the job, in your interactions with the mortgage lender. Always keep at the forefront of your thinking, okay, how can I weave Christ into this conversation? How can I weave Christ into my lifestyle? How can I um, show up as a witness to him and somehow, some way, convert, speak to, witness to, serve as an example to him, make myself available to him to minister as needed. So I want to leave you with that today and I want to encourage you if you haven't done so already to download our free ebook on encouragement. I wrote this ebook several years ago just as a uh, inspiration, something to inspire, something to motivate, something to support, something to encourage the body of Christ. Many of us are going through a lot of different situations right now, and sometimes all we need is just a little bit of encouragement. So it's a free download, and the link to the book is in the description box below. And with that, I will leave you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.